Welcome to I Love Stocks and I want to go over my EV car watch list. Please subscribe, ring that bell for future update, updates, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. But I'm Washboard Jim and I've been a trader for over 15, 16 years. And I have many ways and many methods of trading, but today we're going to talk about a watch list and it's going to be my EV cars. Let's get off to the first one right off the races and that's going to be Tesla. We're going to pull up Tesla and have a good look at it right here. I'm going to make sure I can find that watch list. I'll put it over here to the side so I'll keep it on my... Tesla had a beautiful breakout today. We had a nice little breakout today. She's run all the way up. These are my extended trend lines. Let's go ahead and clear them on out. We're just going to start building a new channel. So we're going to erase all these. And we're going to start fresh. Low support is going to be right down here, right around the 604. That was the resistance that we needed to break. If you watched the video this morning that I did on Nile and Tesla, they were both beautiful plays. Perfect. Right to the T. Just as I called them. We're going to find little resistance levels here. Bam. There's one right there. We're going to call another one right here. Another one right here. I'm using the bodies of the candlesticks. This is my extended trend line method. Then we're just going to go ahead and go to the daily one minute. See if I missed anything in here. We had this little pivot point area. I'm thinking maybe, let's see if we can magnify this up in here. There's a support level right there. 615. And then maybe right around oh, the 612 area to low support. 610. And there's that 612.84. We have another little sending triangle right here. Another flag pattern. 623. And I did call 620 in the video. We'll see if this adjusts to that 620 area. Right about there. 619.86. And then the beginning of this triangle. I think we can probably score it. Well, I like it right in here. Yeah, there it is. Then we got a low support right here. And resistances to break are going to be right here. And right here. So we got low support. I'm thinking right around this 622 area. That's going to be probably your, your first support channel. It's going to be right in here where that sending triangle is. And I'm going to color that in. I'm looking for a knife or a pullback. Because, I mean, there's today the bears are probably getting pretty scared. Because I know, <laughs> I, you know, I had a conversation with a few bears this weekend. And they just, they just don't like Tesla. I don't know. I don't get it. I do not get it. Tesla's just not a car company. It's a tech company. It's in, not in just cars. It's It's got all kinds of other stuff going on. God darn, Jim. Focus. See, that's 20, 10 seconds wasted of my time right there. That can mean a lot in trade if you're not snappy enough. So I'm drawing these little support levels. This is a huge breakout today. If you're a good tape reader, you could tell that no matter what, you didn't have a chance, the Bears didn't have a chance with this trade. And if they did, there was places to get into the trade and make some pretty good money. That's your resistance level right there. A lot of little places in here I'm kind of getting an idea because this is going to be a whole new area. We're, we're looking for a whole new... I want it to go sideways, and I want to find the support level. And that support level is going to be right in here at 639.81. Why I say that, I'll tell you here in a second. I want to go ahead and mark this red. This is a very important area right here. We're catching knives. This thing going to pull back. First stop it's going to make is going to be right here at 639.81. Why? Previous high, and we've pulled back there a few times. So this area is going to be like a support channel between this bottom and this top. And I want to color that in. 
That's very important. That I think I can hold in that channel. And if I go below that channel, it's going to start being bearish on me. So I want to go ahead. Now, you know where the pivot point in this channel is? It's going to be right here where it pulled back to that 200. Now, these are my EMA chart. This is a 200 EMA. And when I'm on a daily one minute, I use that 200 EMA as a support level. And as long as that 9 is above it and, and the 34 and the 100, we're still bullish. Now, if this 9 starts to cross down, we get down below that, and we see a curve down on the 9, we can fall into this channel. The channel support right now is 635.58, 637.40 with the pivot point, and then resistance, which is the first support, which is now, I think, going to be the second from this one right here at 639.81. Anything below that's going to be a strong buy. And then you have another channel right down in here between the 632.45 and the 633.82. Now, I hit my I hit my uh, 620 today, and I Vegas asked me what is the next resistance. I closed my eyes. I rubbed my temples. I put my, my thumbs on my earlobes, and I kind of just rubbed that finger, that first two fingers around my temple, and I come up with 650. And we hit 648.79. And that was after we broke 620. So that was a pretty good little call. It did pull back to that pivot point. So that 637.40 is going to be a major area for a double bottom. And we hit this first one, 639.81, 637, 635. And if those don't hold, I'm going to be in the trade down here at 632.45 to 633.82 and run it back up to these resistance lines. That's Tesla. Let's take a couple other looks. Nile. Talked about it in the video. If you want to go back and watch that previous video I did on Tesla and Nile, you'll be supercharged. This thing, I called a pullback to 4085 for the first support. I called it exactly how I expected it to trade. It did pull back. And then when I seen this position right in here, I got to thinking to myself, we hit that support level. I was telling a couple people in the room, we're going to go, we're going to take off, and I think this thing's really going to break out. So let's take a look at why I said that. We hit that support level. Let me go back here a little bit to five day. That support level was right here. It was the top of this here candle right here, and that's where I called it from right there. She went ahead and pulled on back. Or, excuse me, I got the wrong one there. This is what I meant to say right down in here. If you watch the previous video, you can see that where I had that line drawn. And we did pull right back to that line. And then she went ahead and took off and started bouncing up into my resistance channel that I was calling out in that video later on. If we broke this resistance here at 45, 4367, we were going to go higher, and it did. So I think it can pull back to that 4367 again. If it pulls back to that, then it would be a nice little bounce back up in here. I want to create a channel. I don't want to get too crazy with it, and I don't want it to go past $48, because that, to me, is going to be overextended. I just want to build a sideways channel for it right now. Uh, Centron did bash this at one time, said it was way overpriced. The institutions are in this trade, and they're going to keep buying the dips. And that's Nile. Let's take another look at another one here. GTEC. GTEC had a very nice breakout free market. I mean, this thing just ran and then pulled back about 50%. So let's go ahead and kind of magnify this up on a daily one minute. We'll get a better look at it. Had a huge breakout. This was kind of hard to find support levels in it. I had to kind of magnify it up. Then I used my Fibonacci's from right here to where we had this top. And I pulled it back to the bottom right here to try to find a support level for tomorrow. This is GTEC. This is a low float stock. And if you ever want to know how to find a low float stock, you can go to Finviz. And you can type in the tipper, ticker right here, GTEC. And then you can go right and it'll show you exactly the float size of 1.3 million. 
So there's a lot of pumpers in this trade. Anytime you see a low float, it's going to be a little bit more volatile. And just expect that when you're in it. I mean, I'm always saying take profit. Take profit. If you're in a low float stock like this or if you know how to follow the trend, you know, people could have jumped in this pre-market and would have got stuck and never known to take it and bring it on up. Me, I, I'm an experienced trader. I know how to find them supports. We did pull back to that support again. That's a double bottom. So if it decides to break out, it can break up to these next resistance levels. And that first one's going to be at 813. Let's make it 810. Right around there. If it pulls back, it can pull back to 637.50. 637 to 655 and that'll be your low support that's a 50 percent retracement from the double bottom here and then you have your other three supports right there 682 719 and then that 777 has got a hold and that's your double bottom it could go ahead and have a double bottom break and go up to resistance level of around nine bucks and that's going to be gtec low float 1.2 if it knives, it can retrace back up to this resistance level. Let's see if we got any other in here. We got Blink. Blink had a good day. Blink had a real good day. Let's pull up the 20. This one got bashed by Kramer. It pulled back to about this support level right here, right around the $20 area. And then she's retraced back up to 27 so this $20 is going to be like our little solid support if it does pull back to that we can get back in the trade for sure I want to put a three on there because I want it to be big I want to know I want to have a reason why I want to get into this trade so that's going to be your low support I think your first one's going to be right around in this area where this ascending triangle is and that's going to be right here at and I'm going to put a red line on it, too. We're in a very volatile time right now. This is at 24.16. I want to see that's your third support. Your second one's going to be 25.36. And that first one's going to be at 26.12. Resistance to break on this ascending triangle right here at 27.31. And then you have three more resistance levels to get it to. And that's going to be... 2813, 2873, and then back up to 30 bucks, and then probably come back down. But I want to see it go sideways for a while. I think we're just overextended, and if we go sideways, it's still healthy to me. It's still healthy to me. If it starts dipping below the pivot point of 2143, I'm going to get a little concerned. And that's going to be blink. So let's look at a few more we got on here. talked about blink already workhorse let's talk about candy I like candy I eat it all the time we did have a nice little breakout on it it run up and hit that 200 and pulled back about 50 percent that's a solid support level right here at 835 Let's go ahead and pull up the daily one minute. There's a lot of lines on these because I've been playing the heck out of them. And they're just, it's my hottest watch list right now next to the marijuana sector. The marijuana sector had a little pullback too today. You know, maybe a, do another video on it. But we got a solid support here for a double bottom at 839. If that doesn't hold, we have two more supports at 821 and 796. Resistance to break. It's going to be that 903, 931, and then maybe up in here right around the 948 area. And we could get up here to the nice little top to maybe 967. We break past 10, we're going to have new highs. Candy. For right now, it's kind of in the pivot point. It's had a 50% retracement from the breakout. We could see it go up and it's going to have a hard time, but if it can break 903, we will go higher. And that's K-N-D-I. Next one we're going to look at is going to be Solo. Solo was beat up on Centron. It did have a nice little pullback. And I think today was a healthy day for it. And it did start to retrace back up. 
We did have a pretty good little sell-off. It did fall back to my 568 low support, and it's bounced up since then, and I think we can stair-step a little bit higher, but we're going to find a channel, and the channel is going to be between this 5, well, let me see. I'm going to say around 627 to maybe up here to this level at 920. We need to break this sending triangle right here. And let's magnify it up. Let's bring it to one day or five day. Sending triangle, we need to break this resistance level at 766. And then we got another one at 898 and then up here right around 816. That's going to keep that on watch. Solo. Workhorse. Another good one. Workhorse. We got a, a bullish flag right here. This is called a bullish descending pattern. It can go up and break resistance level of 2284. Or it can pull back and then find itself as resistance at 2118. So I've got a low support at 1922. 1926 with a pivot point area of resistance or support at 2118 and bring it on up and then we got a gap fill but I think we're going to go sideways in the channel workhorse it had some issues too so sideways it goes you got to read the news and you got to read go back on the news and read that news because that can change a trade real fast I always look at the news let me see if I can find anything on here. Okay, we're gonna now we're gonna take this watch list. We went through the volume highs. Now we're gonna take and see who had the, the net loser, and that was Ride. So let's look at Ride real fast and see what it's telling us. I want to look at the news. I want to see why this is pulled back so much. Um, Okay, to provide hydrogen. Some motor GM to hydrogen. Oh, GM's really going to be a good one for me too. Might talk about it a little bit. Register statement declared effective. Lordstrom announces an S1 registration statement. Yeah, so a lot of this news I'm not getting very much. I just don't get it. So ride. Why well, can't it always be in SPAC? So they're talking about SPACs and IPOs. Now I don't see much in there. We'll go ahead and bring this back down. I'm going to look at the 20 day. Try and find so they're right there. Okay. Got three support levels. That little one right here. Seventeen seventy four, eighteen ninety two with the twenty fourteen to hold. And the next resistance levels are gonna be these three at twenty oh seven, twenty three thirteen, and then maybe up in this area right up in here right around the 2451 so this is going to be one that i'm going to be watching tomorrow ride i think we've had a pretty good little pullback we did break below the support level which kind of concerns me any more pullback from here i think will be a strong buy back up to this resistance level of 2093 right here so if it dips down to these lower supports we can take it back up here to 2093 and if it breaks the 2093 which we're going to call pivot point. We need to break this resistance up here right around the 2370 area. That's right. We'll keep it on watch tomorrow. I haven't been watching it here for the last week or so. And I think that's going to be it for the watch list today. Let's look at percentage gainers just to see if anything pops up on my head on the percentage gainer. We talked about that. CIIC. Let's look at this one. Oh, that's a pretty chart right there. We're going to clear this out. Let 
you got a support level right here, right here where these tops are on the 20 day. I'm going to go ahead and draw that in right there. We've got another one right here. Another one right here. Another one right there. Support level is going to be right about here. So we got three different supports. We got one more right here. I'm going to just go ahead and throw that in there. CIC. This is on my EV car watch list. Did it have any news today? Uh, SPAC, 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 SPAC. That's all I see. I don't see nothing in here. So I think this can pull back to the support level right here at 32.53. If that doesn't hold, it'll be this other support here at 31.28 with strong buy right down here at under 30. Resistance to break is going to be this 36.24. And that's CIIC. Keep a good eye on it. And I think that's about it for today's EV car watch list. We just tried to go through there and see if we could find a few plays. You know my major one that I'm always hot on. It's my number one play of all stocks, and that's Tesla. I've always been bullish on that. I've never stopped being bullish on that. I've been bullish on that stock for about five years, and I don't think I'll ever stop. And um, Nile comes in second place. I'm not as respectful to Nile as I am Tesla, because Nile's still mixing around with China, and, and they don't have their own factory. They're renting out a factory. To me, it's just a speculative trade, but there's a lot of insiders and a lot of institutions are in that trade, and it's going to always be bullish on the dips, on the dips. I don't think it's going to be like a Tesla at all. Maybe get to 100, 120 long, but for right now, we're going to barely going to be hard enough to try to get past 50. That's going to be Nile. Well, that's it for the market report. I'll go ahead and I'll put this link down here of the watch list. It'll be under the comments section. It'll be a script from Toss. It's nice to have. Always use the percentage. I always use the volume high. Then I like to look at the percentage, see if we've had any losers that day, first thing in the morning. And I like to see if we've had any huge gainers that have broke out. Remember, blink, keep that on watch, and plug. Add those two, because those two are going to be necessary. That's going to be for the EV car watch list. Please, we do have a Twitter page. We're adding people in here all the time. Please hit that like button. We sure would appreciate that. That follow button, I mean. We sure would appreciate that. And also, we do have on the website our stock twits links, our YouTube channel, and a store if you want to buy any merchandise. I love stocks.